Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, here we are. Another Tuesday, another beautiful day here in on Mother Earth. Let's not distinguish where we are. We are just here today being present. And I want to say I thank you so much for being here with me. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Aliza, and by trade, I'm your expert clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. Yes, and the name of the business is Heal Within. And why Heal Within? Because I truly believe for every aspect of what we want to do, in order for us to evoke, embrace, and evolve, it's all about knowing that you matter. So let's start with that. And today I was talking uh, with uh, one of my uh, neighbors as I was on the path walking our dogs. And as I was, as we finished the walk, coming back from our uh, walk, I was thinking of one word. And the word is called neglect. So here's my question to you. What is it in your life that you have neglected? Or are you neglecting right here, right now? Is it about your health? Is it about your wealth? Is it about your relationships, your relationship with your partner, your relationship with your friends, your relationship with your family, children? And that's one of the things we're going to talk about. But beforehand, I want to remind every single one of you the event that is coming up in September, the 3E event. And that is going to be absolutely amazing. The, all the speakers, the profound expert speakers on the 3E event that are going to be there. Oh my God, we've got an expert for decluttering, Mel Mason. We've got an uh, expert uh, attorney who's going to be talking about uh, law, conservatorship, uh, free Britney, and uh, women showing up, standing up. We've got Connie uh, Ponturo, who's going to be talking about your body, your movement, Pilates, and everything that is happening. We've got the beautiful essence of in the corporate world, in the government, by Tsar Tomasian. She is absolutely amazing and she's a hoot. Um, professionalism and talking about how you elevate yourself in that level. We've got the beautiful bodacious uh, Patrina Wisdom that when we are talking about grace, wealth, abundance. She is the epitome of showing you how is it possible to come from extreme challenges to extreme abundance. And we've got uh, another name that I was going to mention, but not until tomorrow. We're going to bring another health and wellness acupuncturist, the youngest of the speakers who's going to be there. And I will mention just a first name, Natalie, and she is just amazing. And of course, we're going to have Jasmine Montoya, who's going to be the person who's going to bring all this together for us to embrace and experience uh, healing, sound healing, and connection to our animal spirits. Yes. So many healing modalities, so many profound, so that you evoke the emotions from the inside, so that you can embrace all of who you are. And even from your ancestry to the point of evolving to your heart's desire. That's the intention of 3E. It's a me time for women to come together, to find our tribe, to have a time to ourselves and literally 
find like-minded women to elevate yourself and be with. Plus, our title sponsor, Michael Butler, the publisher of our book, and my uh, the most amazing human being you're going to hear about, Michael Butler, and I will share about him, and our mistress of ceremonies, Jennifer Horspool, plus the team of everyone who is working together, our other sponsors that are going to be there. You know what? Every person is going to be showcased. Even you are. It doesn't matter if you are a title sponsor, this sponsor, that sponsor, speaker. We're all going to be the star of this show, of this event, of this time. Every single one of us is bringing our own energy, our grace, and our humanity into the circle. And that's what I call it. A circle of us. A circle that says, I showed up, I stand up, and we all speak together because we all have a voice. So when I was thinking about the word neglect, is if you neglect, you know, even a toothache knocks on and gives you a discomfort to say there is a discord, there's something wrong. And that means pay attention to me, right? When we pay attention, that's what this is all about. Now, the three E is also pay attention to you. Because even as my clientele who come here, it's not that they have neglected. It's now they are ready to pay attention to something that needs to be tended to, taken care of, changed, modified, edited. And you know, just like Jim Rohn said, just like Tony Robbins said, it's even in the book of evolutions. It's when your conscious mind can conceive something, your subconscious mind will help you achieve it. Because when you think it, you believe it, you become it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when the conscious thinking mind can conceive something, the subconscious mind will definitely conceptualize it and make it achievable. When we think it, we believe it, we become it. So the part of the neglect is when we neglect something, what happens? Even that cavity, uh, it, that pain becomes a cavity and if you neglect paying attention to your cavity that cavity becomes inflated and if you don't pay attention to it and you disregard it and say okay you know what i have no time i have no time because something else is a priority that little cavity gets inflamed and then the next thing you need to do is a root canal which, of course, I have my root canals. Even I had a root canal done yesterday with absolutely, of course, no topical because I don't like my gums to be numbed and no anesthesia. So, you know, my endodontist already knows that. And so what is the root canal? That means the nerve is damaged and you have to go and do a root canal. So I am so sensitive that from the moment it's a cavity, I go to the dentist and we also took care of the cavities and we put the crown on and I still felt something. And when I went to the endodontist, he says, yes, it's deeper. So we took care of that. Within a week, I had it all taken care of. So stop neglecting you. Stop neg neglecting your health, your well-being, because it doesn't matter if it's a toothache or if it is a relationship. And if you stop uh, neglecting 
because you have no time this is not the right time I don't have anyone to support me I don't have the money I can't afford it I can't take care of me because I have to take care of everything that's called self neglect when you neglect your health when you ne neglect yourself your well-being guess what's gonna happen a part of you will inflame and that becomes a diseased when it comes to a disease and there is the inflammation and it takes root to deeper that you have to numb yourself with something else like maybe alcohol maybe food maybe drugs maybe smoking a, a lot of other things even medicine just to sleep numb yourself to have that level of comfort and yet what you are doing is numbing it instead of literally going into the root cause of it and lovingly easily effortlessly come to fruition and change it and modify it and just a little bit when you come to understand how easy it is to tap from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind that if there is something even if you have neglected to pay attention and come to that aha moment it's like ah now I understand it's no longer benefiting you and it's been hurting you that's the time for you to say yes so in a way it's like putting that oxygen on your mouth on your face so that you can validate you you can give the oxygen to this incredible self to you and stop neglecting the internal pain and just beautify the outside because no matter what happens it's gonna come to fruition it will resurface and when we put a lid on that in order for us just to quiet it just a little bit longer until you have this in place until you have that in place that's when it becomes more inflamed or more diseased so rule number one pay attention when there is a pain and discomfort acknowledge it Two, take care of it because there is no reason for you to neglect your well-being and sacrifice your health and wellness sacrifice your money sacrifice your abundance for someone else or something else nothing is more important than you and here's a fact that you may think that I am covering it up and my kids do not see it oh believe it or not your children feel it and they see it they know it they just don't understand it so it behooves you for you to acknowledge and it doesn't matter if you come to me or someone else find someone to talk to find someone that helps you it if it is your health and wellness for you to take a walk for 30 minutes and talk to a friend if you have to do a podcast and listen to affirmations and start stepping into what is it that you want in your life and be open instead of neglecting your desires your wants your needs be open to receive and believe it or not when you elevate yourself to that level right and you say no more neglecting because even this beautiful plant if I neglect nurturing it watering it changing it you see how she's blossoming 
that's what it is. We blossom when we have the right lighting. We blossom when we have the right energy. I talk to my plants as if she really is real. And she is. She's not just a plant. She's alive. So much of everything around you is alive, breathing, living. So if it is a team that is working with me, nurture your team. If it is your employees, say hello. Acknowledge them once a week. Be with them. Go out to lunch together. It's uh, it's not always they work for me. It's we work together. And the same thing with your children. Don't wait until it's summer and family time. Create family time. Create me time, all of you together. So neglect comes when we think we don't have the time. We must make the time. We must make the time. Me time. When you're in the shower, take five minutes extra for you. That's it. So when the water comes trickling or with pressure from above and you're washing your hair, massaging, literally at that very moment, become one with your scalp, with your fingers, and just massage your scalp and say thank you. When we come to appreciate gratefulness from your scalp, from your hair, from your body, and say thank you and appreciate every aspect of you, and let everything else go down the drain for that moment. You take a walk, self-empowerment, every single morning when I take my dog out for walk, I kiss and hug my dog. And then we go, and from that moment that his tail is wiggling, it puts a smile on my face. See, it is a chore, but a chore that I chose. A chore that I chose to bring him into my world, into my life, and realizing that even children, having an office, being a sole entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur, even working for someone else, it is a decision. So everything comes down to stop neglecting your choices. Every choice that you have made at the right time, at the time that you made, say thank you because it is the right choice. And today you have a new choice. You have the authority to say, I choose something different if I want to. That's the key. If I choose today, I can make a new choice. I can make a new decision. Today, I can stop neglecting me, my desires, my wants, and start a new chapter. Even if it is to write, what do I want for today? What do I want to feel? What do I want to do? Even if it's a dream, put it on a piece of paper and make your dreams. Start. Because once we put, put it down, once we think it, we voice it, we write it, we say yes to we give energy to that. So five years ago, I put together a beautiful vision board. And you know, two years ago, I'm saying this because I want you to understand the significance of this because I recognized it. Two years ago, a year and a half ago, we did a whole vision board with a group. And I had that vision board literally 
the, the one five years ago it's in my bedroom it's framed beautifully every single morning i see it every single morning i recognize i want my vision to come true so a year and a half ago that vision board i placed it in front of it that it blocked it, the other one guess what within a week that vision board slipped it literally slipped behind my credenza and went down and I looked and I said, huh, I picked it up. I put it up again and again it dropped. So I take things for what it is and I'm like, huh, maybe that's what it's supposed to be. This has not come reality yet. So as I was looking at it, last weekend I went somewhere that when I stepped on the tarmac and I took a picture and I looked at my vision board, it completed another puzzle of my vision board. I was in tears because I recognized something. It's like, do not bring something here when I am not complete yet. So... Back to my first word. I was neglecting a puzzle that was not complete. So today, I recognized, stop neglecting you. If I put a vision board, I must complete that vision board and it's coming a reality. Honor, appreciate, and accept yourself for who you are, because you do matter. Your thoughts matter. What you feel matter. And everything about you, your surrounding, your family, and where you are at this moment matters. And if it's something that you feel you are ready to step up to, you have all the right. Step back and say, today I choose what I want. My name is Lisa Bubari. I want you to realize that as a child of God, as being part of this Mother Earth, you are here because you are meant to be. So join us at the 3E event with the powerful, impactful speakers, healing exercises, even the mini hypnosis that I will also be doing on stage, and all the other things that are going to happen. We want to wow you. You want to be wowed pampered, nourished, nurtured, and have this significant time of saying, I went there without realizing how profound this was, impactful it was, transforming it was for me. So if you want your life to be transformed, that's the event. Join me and so many. And until next week, I bid you goodbye and I thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays and the 3E event. My name is Lisa Bubari, your expert clinical hypnotherapist. And until next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless and may the universal light surround and protect you. And if you like this, share it, subscribe, and go to YouTube, and you'll see the rest of all my podcasts.